You know I like my chicken fry. Cold beer on a Friday night. Pair of jeans that fit just right. In the radio zone. You know I like my tender fry. Dipped in a sauce just right. Where is everybody tonight? Don't you want free flashlights? Of course you do. You know I like my chicken fried. You know I like my chicken fried. Baby. Baby, I like my chicken fried. You know I like my chicken fried. <clears throat> What'd you say? I'm the goat? <clears throat> I don't know why that keeps happening. It's like a, just comes on now and then. Hey, FDR, man. Why do you keep saying that, dude? Why do you keep saying that? You're freaking me out. Capuchow, all y'all. Capuchow. What's Capuchow? Redneck transparency. Redneck transparent. Redneck girl transparency. Does that mean you're see-through? What's up, everybody? All right. How about some thumbs up? Uh, I'm going to review these flashlights. I even got a $20. Uh, I My last ticket, I won 20 so I doubled down. Got this gold rush. It's on number oh, 000, zero, zero. First one on the roll. I'm going to use my first knife I ever made to scratch it. I'm going to use this to read the specs on the flashlight. And since you guys are here, I should give one away, one of these away right now. All right. Man, I need a trivia question. What? 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 What can I ask? What can I ask? What can I ask? Let's get these early birds a prize. This is a keychain. It's awesome. Let me grab my keychain so you can see what it looks like. Dogs puking all over the house. So anyway, it kind of looks like that. It's a little keychain, and it's bright. It's really bright. Oh, maybe I should turn that light off. Look at how bright this little tiny keychain is. That bright enough for you? Good. <laughs> hey, stupid. Let me guess. You're scared to talk. Oh, what a puss. <laughs> what a loser. Oh, God. I guess he likes being called loser. I don't know what his deal is. Anyway, there's that one. And um, I want to give one of you 25 people this right now. What can I think of here? Okay. Okay, I'm looking at something right now. It's right there. It's in a box about this big and about this tall. And it's something you use for your home. What is it? First person to guess gets this through night keychain. Oh, how's it going? Going good. Thanks, Brandon. Everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. This is my second live today, man. Thanks for the, the interview. It was good. I liked it. The whole live stream was good. I even liked that 13-year-old kid that called. He was cool. A little blind kid. Push lawnmower. No. AC condenser. AC filters. That's it. AC filters. FDR. Listen, bro. I still want to know why you keep saying that every time you're on the live stream about electric boogaloo and all that crap. Freaking me out. So FDR, you are the winner of the first through night keychain. I'm going to give another one away soon. FDR, contact me on Facebook Messenger. Okay. Hi, eyes on the state. How are you, brother? Thanks, Derek Fed. So it was uh, air air conditioning filters. He man, he nailed that. You can tell he's a homeowner. So this one's for you, FDR. I'd write your name on it if I had a pen. Hold on, let me write your name on there. I 
All right, so see here, buddy? Uh, of course I grab a pen that doesn't write. Motherless goat. Motherless. Ah! All right, dude. For the sake of the live stream, I can't find a pen. I'm sorry. Message me on Facebook Messenger. All right. Dude, if you don't have Facebook, download Messenger. Send me the message and undownload it. Dr. Sean's here. What's up, Dr. Sean? All right. Should I review this flashlight first or should I do this scratch off first? $20 gold rush. First one on the roll. Man, I just got a little headache there. First knife I ever made. I'm going to scratch with that. The John Karambit. Flip it both ways. Bam! Bam, bam! Thanks, Gary. All right, everyone wants to scratch off. So here we go. Gold Rush went up to $5 million. $5 million. I probably just do a live stream every day and just check in on you. So, matching your numbers, sending the winning numbers, win the prize shown for that number, get a 5X symbol, win 5 times, or 10X symbol, win 10 times, that symbol, win a prize shown for that symbol, get a gold bar symbol, and win 500 instantly. Match winning numbers, any of the bonus spots, bonus spots, ah, ooh, any of the winning numbers, sending the bonus spot, win the amount, all right, let's do the bonus first, because these are usually garbage. We got 25, 26, 6, 11, 16, see our numbers, 17, no, 21, no, 37, no, 3, no, 32, no, 19, all right, let's keep going, 32, boop, boop. pull over that ass too fat, first number, first ticket, that's usually a good sign, people, boop, boop. pull over that ass too fat, pull over that ass too fat, all right, let's keep going, 23, nope, 18, nope, 36, no, 14, no, I might have spoke too soon, 30, nothing, 29, no, 27, no, 39, no, 17, 17, whoop, whoop, pull over that ass too fat, whoop, whoop, pull over that ass too fat, so that's two winners. 12, nothing. 15, no. I hope I didn't just win my money back. Number eight, no. Number three, three, three. Whoop, whoop. Pull over that ass too fat. Whoop, whoop. Pull over that ass too fat. Uh, yeah, drive the bus. 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 Thank God, man, because I had the worst time ever earlier with FedEx. Number one, nothing. A lady sent me her heirloom coins to make like 14 coins for her family. Rings, uh, coins from the 1800s. Dude, in FedEx, oh, I'm not even going to talk about it. Because, whoop, whoop, below that has ass too fat. Woo, woo. All right, here we go. 20, nothing. Four, no. 19, 19, whoop, whoop, below with that ass too fat. Whoop, whoop, below with that ass too fat. Two more. Seven, no. And 13, no. All right, so what do we have here? 32 was a winner. Let's see what we've got. Ah, oh, five bucks. That means it's a $20 ticket. Motherless mother. All right, what was the other one? 17, five bucks. Man, come on, player. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. 19. Five bucks. What else we got here? Five, 23, 23, 18, 36, 14, 30, 29, 27, 39, 17, 12, 15, 8, 3. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. That's crap. All right. Moving right along. This flashlight is actually my favorite one they've ever sent me. And they sent me another one 
with a Picatilly mount, so you can mount it on your AR or whatever. You can aim it on. You could clamp it onto your Rittenhouse. All right, so this is what I need the magnifying glass for. This is the Through Night BSS V4. This is actually uh, has. There's a YouTuber named. I forget his name every time, but this, they actually made that logo. This is the YouTuber's logo. And this is like his edition. This is flashlight's awesome. So let's read these real quick. Test it out. And uh, give away that last flashlight. And we'll go from there. Uh, hang tong fly. Oh. Eastern lacking bark and cheeker. Oh, here's the English. Okay. Why isn't it ever in Greek? All right, here we go. So, man, still not easy to read. Oh, there we go. I'll put on Firefly mode, you can run this flashlight for 56 days. On low, you can run it at 33 lumens for 55 hours. On medium, you can run it at 350 lumens for four and a half hours. On high, 1400. 26 lumens for 136 130 seconds and then 634 lumens for the rest turbo 2523 lumens for 125 seconds and then the strobe has uh, 1200 lumens for 210 minutes uh, latch on latch all right there's the specs on it if you're gonna get a through night all the links in the description for their Black Friday stuff Thank you again, Jessica, for sending me another flashlight. I absolutely love this one because it's the BSS V4. It's got the clip. It's perfect for everyday carry. It's like you have a... Oh, sorry. That was an accident. It's like you have a roll of uh, nickels or dimes. Plus, you have this piercing power for self-defense and or to bust out of windows if you need if you get trapped in your car or whatever. Um, this, this one has a back switch. Also came with... Let me take out... They always have this super cool foam in there, man. Look at that. Ooh, you like it. So, what else they got here? The BSS V4, you could hit it and toggle this way that it goes straight turbo, or you go where you have a preset. There, it also comes with this tail cap with a selector switch if you want to put it on your AR or on a bicycle, which I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on a bicycle, put this by my uh, handlebar, and then mount it to the, the bicycle thing. So, you, you have the option, you can do either or here. And then it also comes with this Picatilly Realize. I think that's what they're called. You put this you put this around the flashlight, you put this on there, and then you can mount it to the bottom of one of your pistols or whatever. You can put it like right there. This is more for like a rifle. And then it would stick out the side. It would stick out the side like that. And it'd be like this, basically. Which is still pretty sweet, to be honest with you. Um, so how cool is that? What else is in here? Nice sheath, of course. And it's got this, it always comes, it, these, this one always comes with like this. I don't know what it is, but you can unscrew this bezel here. This uh, whoop some butt bezel. And then you could put this little thing on there. And I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it's like kind of like night vision, I guess. See how weird that lens is? Let's put it on there and see what that does. I guess it's supposed to... You can get around, I guess, in the dark. Look, oh, see? How cool is that? I guess it's kind of like night vision. Let me hit the right switch here. Oh, what is that crap light, man? So I guess this is like night vision. It just shoots a red beam. I have it on turbo, of course. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it shoots a red beam. Does it look red? Red-ish, I should say. So, let me take that bezel off. If I'm not blind, why can't I see? It looks really cool on there. I'll show you what it looks like when it lights. That's on turbo. Maybe I can put it on low. There's some low. You can kind of see. Puts out a red lightish. It does look cool. It looks tactical. Infrared. I guess that's the infrared, maybe. So let's take this thing outside real quick so I can show you what it does outside. Hopefully I don't hang up on you guys. Or whatever the proper term is. Let's switch this camera around. 
Of course, some moron's calling me. I'm not answering. All right, we're outside. As you can see, my rocket stove, I have this on low. I'm gonna hold it down. There's medium, there's high, and then back to low. So low, medium, high, right? And then you got, and then you got turbo. I'm gonna turbo my, uh, my little star I sprayed on there, see? There's turbo from the back switch, and let's go through. I love this damn flashlight. If I were to recommend any of the through night ones, for everyday carry and self-defense and et cetera, et cetera. It's this one right here. So that's high. That's low. Medium. High. And turbo. Turbo is like blinding. Let's look down the yard here. That's turbo again. Look up in the trees. Turbo. All right. I think we've, uh, we understand but the BSS V4 is sweet and the keychain lights are sweet too for as tiny as they are. They put out a lot of light. All right, people. So there it is. Through night BSS V4 and the keychains are, I think there's only like $14.95. I'm going to give away another one right now. These are called the Outsider TI2. And they take a AAA battery. And they're awesome to have on your keychain, that's for sure. And this is the BSS V4. All the Black Friday deals are in the description. And let's give away a second flashlight here. And then for, if anybody would like this beautiful uh, Las Vegas token money clip, might as well throw that in there too. You need three of them for your AR? <laughs> I'm not cooking crap, bro. I'm going to mom's house. She's home from Greece. She's probably gonna make pork chops, shrimp, ribs, turkey, mashed potatoes, a beautiful Greek salad. On and on and on. Stuffed cabbage, stuffed grape leaves, stuffed Felix. All right, so what can we do for some trivia now for, okay, let's see here. I already told you this is ticket zero. Okay. First person to tell me the overall odds on this ticket gets the second flashlight. FDR, make sure you contact me on Facebook Messenger, Facebook whatever. Gyros, yes. Don't really, Greeks don't really make gyros at home, man. Most of them don't know how to, to be honest with you. I know how to. You have to whip the meat a little bit, first of all, whatever it is, ground turkey, ground pork, ground beef, ground lamb, a combination. And then the seasoning is, nope, that's not the right answers, guys. And then the seasoning is cops, cumin, oregano, pepper, and salt. The odds, the overall odds on this ticket Okay, the winner will get the flashlight. Uh, Brandon says one in 1.6, no. Three to one, no. One in five, no. One in 150,000, no. Remember, it's just the chances of this ticket being a winner. It could be a, a $5 winner or whatever. One in 100, one in 1,000, no. You guys should be Googling, dude. You saw which ticket it was. 50-50, no. <laughs> All right, guys, come on. Who wants a keychain? Who wants a keychain? Nope, none of those answers are right. Who wants a keychain? <clears throat> Liberty Ninja, what's up? -da 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 -da. 30 to 1, no. 1 in 4, no. 1 in 5, no. 1 in 200, no. 1 in 6, no. 1 in 10, no. 30, 40. can't believe nobody's Googled it yet. 1 in 3, no. 1 in 3, 5, no. 1 in a million, no. 1 in 3.44, no. 17, no. 1 in 34, no. Vincent, why don't you try guessing and saying I want a keychain? Here it is. Guess. Google the ticket. I was just scratching. See what the overall odds are. And this is yours, buddy. Googling isn't fun, but this flashlight is fun. And you're never just going to guess it randomly because, well, some of you are close. 3 and 32B, no. Oregano, yes. Han, pumpkin pie, turkey. Herd. 99 to 1, no. 1 in 4.01, no. 1 in 20, no. Is it that hard? You want a different question? 1 in 33, no. Have a good one, uh, rights, man. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. 1 in 7.14, no. 
I got the mini catapult. That thing's awesome. I gave that to my buddy Jesse. He loves it. Mini catapult is awesome. You won sunglasses? Oh, you won the cool shades. One and 2.65. There you go. Brian 340. One and 2.65. Brian 340. Contact me on Facebook Messenger. Flashlight's all yours. It's cold and I'm sweating. Always film the police as one in 10,149,500. Oh, yeah. Should I do this one too? Too late, dude. If they don't text me, someone else is going to get it. You got it before what? Big Red? Let me see. Big Red. Where's Big Red? Big Red. Oh, Big Red got it. All right. You're right, Big Red. Big Red. And then you can have this. This is why I had a secondary prize because I messed up like this. So where are you at? The guy. Brian 340, you get this money clip. Uh, Big Red, you get the, the keychain flashlight. Sorry I missed you. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Peace, tranquility. Check out the, the um, Black Friday deals on Through Night. And uh, I appreciate you guys more than you know, man. And the interview with the congressman was awesome. It was really good of him to actually not even care who he was talking to because he obviously knows how to handle himself. He's an attorney. What well, Greek island? Uh, my mom's from Crete and my dad is from Carpathos. So, dude, 340 guy, big red, and uh, FD, FDR, FRD. Please contact me. I'll make sure you guys get your stuff. I really appreciate it. No, bro, big red. Get on Facebook Messenger. Type my name in. There's a picture of me shooting a pool in a tuxedo. That's me. Send me a message. Hey, this is so-and-so. This is Big Red. My real name is blah, blah, blah. My address is blah, blah, blah. I won the thing because I guessed. Gyros do rock. Two pounds of ground beef, meat, whatever combination you want. Cumin, salt, pepper, oregano. You have to whip it a little bit. Form it into a loaf or put it in a can. Cook it. Let it rest. Slice it like a gyro. And it tastes like gyro. And it's amazing. It's almost like Greek meatloaf. And then, you know, we can't just eat Greek meatloaf. You got to be creative. You got to be like, you guys are still guessing. You don't have to make a Facebook, man. All you have to do is download Messenger, message me, and then uninstall it from your phone or computer. It's not that hard. That's the only rec it's the only thing I re require. Sauce is a uh, sour cream or plain yogurt. I prefer sour cream. And then you grind up, you peel a cucumber, grind it all up, drain the juice, put all of that in there. Salt, pepper, lots of garlic because tzatziki is very garlicky. And you should use like a granulated garlic. Smoked Greek meatloaf is the bomb. Heard. He really sends the prize too, says perfect sense. I do. Why wouldn't I send the prize, man? All you have is your... Uh, your integrity and your name. Once that gets besmirched, you got nothing else. Once you, you, you be, you're a liar, you're always a liar. Once you're a bad, you're most likely going to be a bad person forever. I try to maintain, I try to uh, drain the cucumber. Yes. You don't want runny tzatziki sauce. And if you can't say it right, tzatziki, just don't say it, man. Because I hate people who are like, gee, good, good. And the people that get mad, uh, you know the worst part? You want to hear all my pet peeves at one time? When people go, you're Greek and you say gyro? Yeah, because I am speaking English in America. And that's how you say gyro in English. It's like a gyroscope. You don't say, hey, man, let me get the gyroscope. Hey, hey, nurse, give me the gyroscope. There's no such word as gyro. And then that snowflake, Gary Snowflake's like said the same crap. He goes, it's Yeros. It's Yeros. First of all, it's not Yeros. Yeros means old man. It's Yiro. Yiro. Depending on the context, you put an S on the end. Yiros. It's not Yeros. It's not Gyro. It's not Giro. It's not Giro. It's either Gyro or Yiro. And if you can't say Yiro or Yiros, just say Gyro. We speak English in this country. Anyway. Who said Euro? Always from the police. How dare you, bro? It's not pronounced Euro. It's pronounced Yiro. Son of a 
I'm gonna say, that's it. I'm going Robin Williams style right now. Say gyro again. Say gyro again. Say that. Auto gyro asphyxiation. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced euro. You're lucky I can't punch you right through the screen. Uh, what else, guys? You know what I mean? What am I supposed to do now? Wife's over there at her second boyfriend's house. I was supposed to play pool, but FedEx me so hard tonight. Oh. What else you got for me? Any questions? Any questions? Because I doubt I'm making a video tomorrow. I'm just telling you that right now. Because I'm going to drive to mom's hour and a half, right? I'm going to sit down. She's going to have a meal for 35 people, and I'm going to try to eat for 31 of them. And then I'm going to go in her bed that's as stiff as, a, it's like a cinder block bed. She likes a stiff, stiff bed. What were you thinking? How dare you? That's my mother. And then I'm going to take nappy poo. Probably a three-hour nap. Get up, talk to them, pretend like I care what's going on. You know, first thing I do when I go to my Greek parents' house is, uh, John, make my phone do play music, play the Greek music when I, uh, when I get the call, and then have it say, Tsumbiki Karabulas, when I get a text message, okay? Hey, Re, Re, why is my phone working, Re? My dad has no clue whether he's on his Wi-Fi or not. I'll be gone for three months, grab his phone. He's been running off of, uh data the whole time while he's sitting three feet away from a high-speed router um what else uh still haven't smoked I smoked a couple uh what else but I, I basically less than five and since september 15th baklava is all right it's i can't really eat that it's very rich it's basically dough Crushed, ground up walnuts, and sugar water, flavored with lemon and cinnamon. Sugar water. They put sugar in the water, heat it up with a cinnamon stick and a little bit of lemon, and that gets thick like a syrup. And you pour that all. It's just a syrupy, gooey. I like the other cookies better, but I digress. Yeah, I quit cold turkey September fifteenth. I vaped a little, if you want to call that. If you're in Greece and you bought gyros with euros, how would you pronounce that? I would say, give me ena gyro que fa sudoso tria evro. Evro is how you say euro in Greek, evro. And then gyro, evro. Two completely different sounding things. Don't make me drive up there, man. Don't make me, dude. It's gyro in English and gyro in Greek. End of story. I don't want to hear any more crap. I don't want to hear gyro. Man, I can't even sit at a restaurant. Someone will order the gyro and I go, it's not a gyro, bro. Come here. Come here. It's not a jerk. It's not a gyro. Anyway. Uh Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and I'm coming back again. I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel the gold rush into my veins. All right, you guys had enough? Are you guys going to be all right till Friday? Huh? Everything going to be cool? It's a gyro. But yeah, the word ye, gyro, the word gyro means around, round. Uh, hey, another th common expression in Greek. Hey, the kids come home. Where you been? Ah, gyro, gyro, around. Because it spins around. Gyro. Oh, oh. <sighs> Didn't you mother efforts have a freestyle bike? Didn't you mother efforts have a Diamondback or a GT Haro FSX or an FST if you were really cool and your parents had extra money? They had a thing on the neck that connected the brakes. And that, but if you didn't have the gyro, you couldn't spin your handlebars around. Anyway, what do you put in your gyro? Meat, tomato, onion, tzatziki. 
That's it. You talking about seasoning? The seasoning is cops, cumin, oregano, pepper, salt, cops. When I come back to your house asking for the Greek food, don't want to get towel choked. There ain't no Greek food at my house, bro. My mom does that. I do know how to uh, make Greek food, but so much better when she makes it. GT Pro Performer. Did it have a gyro on it or did it have a gyro on it? It had a gyro on it. Mongoose Villain. See? You guys know. You can barely type Y. <laughs> I had a Schwinn Predator with the orange mags. And I met I, 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 I went to the store because Bob Feller, Hall of Fame pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, was at a new department store opening signing autographs. Went in there, got his autograph. Bob Feller, don't know where it is. He's since passed away. I go outside him and my Schwinn Predator is gone. You want to see it, though? It's on my Instagram and my pudgy acid wash jeans thinking I'm cool performing a maneuver and telling my sister to take a picture. Gyro neck. There you go. Your bike did not have a gyro mother effer. <laughs> it's a basketball injury. I went to catch a pass. Instead of catching the pass, the basketball jammed my finger up. And then the tendons that run down, they let you straighten your finger out that are up here went down to the sides and drew my pinky back. It's called boutonnet, boutonnet finger, boutonnet, boutonnet, boutonnet. I call it boutonnet, but it's probably French and it's probably boutonnet. Boutonnet, I like to put my bonnet in your couture. Gyros are amazing. They're very fattening, but they're delicious. You know, they don't serve the same kind of gyros in Greece because, because some Greek thought it would be fun to catch the neighborhood cats and add them to the mix. So they don't have the same type of gyro there. The Greek gyro you can actually get in Tarpon Springs. There's a guy named a restaurant called Mr. Souvlaki in Tarpon Springs who serves the gyro that they serve in Greece, which is actually pork. It's actually pork pork uh, belly, like bacon, but they call it paseta, and they put it, they season it and stack it. It's really good, too. Extreme Coke nail. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? We are learning how to say gyro if you just arrived. <laughs> The mushrooms I made for you were awesome. Alabama transparency. I made you mushrooms? I don't even remember that. Well, a euro is different, Dad. It has to do with a mother monetary system. Okay. Your finger story hurts. Okay. 26-inch Schwinn Typhoon Beach Cruiser. It out padded bars. Big balloon white wall tires. I got Sandy LMR Jr.'s autograph on the new Walmart open in Ken, Ohio, back in the day. You know what else I got? I was working at Lone Star Steakhouse. I don't even think they exist anymore. And there was a bar right behind it, a little asshole bar in the wall. And some dudes, some drunk cooks went over there to drink. I didn't even drink, still don't drink. And they come back real quick and they're like, oh, Marvel Scales over there. So I'm like, we all ran off the cook's line, orders going, people waiting for their food in the Lone Star. And we just ran over there and we had them sign our hat. And I still have the Lone Star hat with Oh, Marvel Scales autograph on it. Chinese cats. Does it have tzatziki sauce? The cucumber sauce is how you say it in English. Tzatziki is how you say it in Greek. Da -da -da. Is one of those flashlights the one that Jay Surreal has? No, he has like the... It's a, his is like 90 bucks. It might be in the description. His is more powerful than all those. Uh, I think it's the one that's 4,000 or 4,500 lumens. You see? <laughs> did you see Jay Surreal's video where some dude gets out of his Mercedes and says... Don't you can't record my plate and right away he hits him with the flashlight and the girl in the back seat's like ah, ah. I also saw uh Patrick uh Patrick's video the other day and he's calling uh, his cop uh a P word and they're blaring flashlights in the cop's face, man. I couldn't believe that cop didn't do nothing about that. The only way I would blare a uh, flashlight in the cop's face is if I tell him to get his flashlight out of my face and he doesn't. Oh, yeah, the first mushroom you ever ate. Where did it come from? Was it, what kind was it? Was it an exotic mushroom or just a regular mushroom? You need to make a gyro gif. Man, no. Mass accountability. What's up, brother? Dude, I love how you went to the Naples council meeting and stayed anonymous and they're all freaking out and 
dudes recording you all surreptitiously. Yeah, James Madison Audits, congratulations, 100,000 subscribers, good job. What's up, Lewis Excalibur? Didn't yes, did double header. You can light a cigarette from across the parking lot. Who can? Oh yeah, with the flashlight. A gyro meme. Your second person said a gyro meme. How do you make a gyro meme? What does that even mean? I'm gonna make the new gyro NFT. I'm gonna sell it for eleven million dollars. I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for the crypto market, I'd be in trouble right now. So, you guys good? You gonna have a happy Thanksgiving? Yeah? All right, dude. All right, Euro meme. I got you. Yes, I speak Greek. How do you think I know how to say Euro? Those who are on the phone, I got to see you. Give me a gyro right now so I can eat because I'm very, very hungry. I appreciate you, man. Public officials can't help but expose themselves. I'm going to call my first weed plant gyro. Dude, blind straight. Word. Gyro. Everybody, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. The people who won the stuff, contact me. I really do send these out. My own money. It's all good. Oh, people who've donated to me, bless you. You don't have to, but I have to say thank you. Um, that's it, man. Have a great Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for both my parents are still alive. I'm thankful I got a wonderful wife. I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for people actually seeing things the way I see them and not being alone in the world like Hey, John, the conspiracy theory. You know, I was I was Mr. Black Sheep all up until the internet came out. Now people understand what's going on, and I'm thankful for that. Um, the internet is a wrecking ball to tyranny. It's it's hard to be tyrannical when there's a free flow of information out there, and people can filter and make up their own decisions. Um, people who still watch TV, I'm not thankful for them. I wish they would die off already. Whatever they need to do to 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 rid their miserable existence and their in their cognitive dissonance off this planet um what else what else what else anthony sabatini was great i'm thankful for him i'm thankful he called me today uh i was shocked that a sitting elected congressman would do an interview with me just shows you he's not a wuss he's not afraid to go live he's a man of his word he was late he got caught up whatever and he called me back so on so forth i, I think i do have a telegram account what city in America has the most Greeks? Probably New York. Astoria, New York. Astoria. Uh, what else? What else we got, guys? I'm thankful for you guys, man. I'm thankful that you like me. I'm thankful you think I'm funny. I'm just a thankful guy. I'm happy with life. Everything's great. I'm going to overeat tomorrow like I do every day. It's almost like Thanksgiving every day for me. It's just different kinds of food. Um, that's it, man. Peace, chicken grease, take a day off tomorrow, unwind, unplug, smoke a dupe, drink a thing. Be, be safe, though, man. Don't be on the roads drunk. Don't be on the roads after you take some black tar heroin or whatever drug of choice you take. You know, don't get caught with prostitutes. Don't be speeding if you have to go somewhere, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Have a great holiday. Contact me for your prizes. Love you guys, man. Thanks so much for uh, being who you are and understanding where I'm coming from and not thinking that the ideas of freedom that I espouse are radical. All right. All right. All right, Brian, 340. Gyro out. <laughs> Gyro out. Bye.